Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. Welcome to another day of triathlon training. I'm counting this as training. Hope you're all fit and well, by the way. From February, I'm taking part in an activity challenge um, with a nutrition supplier, who I'm currently testing some nutrition for. More on that later, but anyway, just getting active. Just getting out. One foot in front of the other and the outside world. It's something that I've really let slip over the last month or so. So I've been, whilst I'm training, like I'm running and cycling, I haven't really been doing much activity otherwise. So actually my like net result of training isn't really a huge amount because I'm quite sedentary all throughout the day. So this lunchtime, I've just gone for a little walk to the shop. I just needed to get some essentials. Um, no sweets or anything. Again, I'm still motivated. I still have no biscuits and no sweets this year. I don't have to get a loaf of bread. The, the one vice I'm allowing myself or two is a bowl of cereal. I do like having a bowl of cereal every now and again. And Pepsi Max Cherry that is a real vice of mine, but it is sugar free. I know that sugar free fizzy drinks aren't great for you but it's better than a big bag of sweets isn't it so that's what i'm doing anyway it's absolutely freezing so <laughs> i'm glad i'm gonna be home again in a minute and then um work this afternoon and this evening i've got a nice bike session to do so i will see you then okay so good evening bike session time with the ride harder crew we are doing a nice little ladder for a warm-up and then a 30 minute sweet spot block so 30 minutes at 310 watts for me i'm going to turn the fan on for that we're working on at the minute time to exhaustion which is basically threshold so several ways to increase your threshold one of which is working close to your threshold so that's what tonight and the next couple of weeks plan is sweet spot working in between 87 and 95 percent of ftp i think this is somewhere in the middle so it's hard but it's not like super hard a tt position obviously i'm just trying to track how efficient i'm in that, in that position and you know how much of the heart rate drift and so on so we'll do this and we'll look at the data afterwards. But it's so good doing it as a group, man. A certain time to start, all doing it together, just excellent. Whew, anyway, I'm gonna get my head down and uh, get cracking. Whew, session done and dusted. I say it a lot, but if you get invited to a group ride of any kind, make an effort to go and do it on Swift, obviously not in the real world at the minute. Um, it's so motivational to talk to people, to get through a session together, it's brilliant. Anyway, session done and dusted, I'm not gonna get emotional, don't worry. Uh, I'm going to have a shower, have tea, etc. But for you guys, it's going to be as instant as this. Let's talk about the data. Wasn't sure if I was going to click or headbutt, then went for headbutt. Boom. Okay, here we go. I've got my mental chili just warming up in the microwave. So I've got about two minutes to tell you about, about tonight's session. So this is the session in its entirety, an hour and one minute. Uh, you can see I did a nice ramp warm up and then five minutes recovery and then a 30 minute sweet spot block. So we can actually select the 30 minute block here on Training Peaks. That tells us. So I didn't use erg mode, I just used the gears. I find that I'm pretty good, not good at a lot of things, but I'm pretty good at like being close to a target power. Now for these sorts of efforts, they're quite boring to look at, to train through and to look at, they are quite boring. People want to see one minute, two minute, five minute big power, we, and there is a place for that, but actually for me, for long distance triathlon and longer time trials, this is really important, how you perform at like close to your threshold, how long can you hold it for, how does your, you know, your, your aerobic decoupling, uh, you know, basically how does your heart rate elevate throughout that time for the same effort. Uh, that's actually really important, so it's really, really worthwhile looking at the data for these sorts of sessions. So I can see here, for 29 minutes, 59 seconds, let's call it 30 minutes, I uh, don't know why Training Peaks does that, a uh, normalised power of 307 watts, a uh, average power of 307 watts, average heart rate of 148, a uh, uh, power to heart rate, aerobic decoupling of 1.86%, which I think is pretty much okay, but let's break it down a bit more, let's have a look at 10 minute segments, so let's look at the first 10 minutes, we're in there, 25, let's go to about 35 minutes, so the first 10 minutes, normalised power 305, average heart rate 145. Let's go to the second 10. Three oh seven, three oh seven for power. Heart rate one fifty, so the heart rate's risen a little bit. I think it is skewed by the first minute or two where you just quite, you know, you're just getting into the effort, and then the last 10 minutes. 310 watts, so lifted it ever so slightly, heart rate 151. So my heart rate has, if you look at a little block there, heart rate has risen three to four beats a minute, but that is not bad at all. I was cooled pretty well, I had a fan on, uh, I kept the effort pretty sustained. We were talking a bit throughout it as well, so sometimes talking makes your heart rate elevate, but you know what, I'm pretty happy with that, and that shows that, you know, 310 watts for me in that effort, sweet spot, is about right so my threshold heart rate is probably in the high 150s low 160s so to sit at 150 ish for the 20 uh, half an hour effort pretty happy with that 
Uh, let me know down below though. Do you enjoy this sort of like, data analysis or not? I think people sometimes like the Zwift racing or me like really hurting myself. But um, I, I'm interested in looking at this sort of stuff and I look at it. So I figure I might as well share it with you. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. So that is it for today's training. That's it for today's video. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below because there's plenty more training to come. We've got a lot of events on the horizon, a lot of events that are hopefully going to go ahead this year on the horizon. So I'll see you tomorrow at 4pm. Thanks for watching.